how's it going, Pride, and welcome back for more of Skyrim, the game where it is just Quest City all day, every day. And did I really leave off here? Uh, suppose I did. The arrow points in here. Huh. This quick save. Maybe I didn't save it after I went in here. Oh, that's probably it. I guess it didn't auto-save when I went into this area. I don't even know. I'm fucking, I'm confused, but whatever. Um, we probably, if anything, we lost like 20 seconds worth of progress, but hopefully... Okay, so there is... An objective over there. Hopefully I can get this quest done. Yeah, we have to go over there, so... Got a little bit of ground to cover. How the fuck do we get over there, though? Isn't this like an... Oh, I see. We have to go around and then fucking... To Narnia and back. This should be fun. Not really sure. Um... Doesn't that go all the way back to where I came from? Was it, uh... Yeah, it does. What the... What the hell? Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and go out here again. Not really sure if this is going to be the right way to go, but I still do have that quick save, so it's not even a big deal. Let's go ahead and jump. Oh, yeah, this this quest is going to be a pain in the ass. Someone also said, right before I recorded this in a comment, um, that the bound sword that I use is actually a little bit better than my mace, the mace of Molag Vol. So I'll have to test that theory today, if I can ever get out of this stupid water again. God damn it. So obnoxious. Come on. Come on, stupid cat. You got this. I know you don't like water. Therefore, you should be able to get out of the water without too much problem. There we go. There's like a little thing right there for us to get out through. All right. So, um, I don't think this is the place that I want to go to, though. This is actually... Actually, I have no clue, to be honest. This is really fucking... I don't know. Let's go ahead and swim around. Maybe there's a... Wow, lag. That's going to fuck up the audio, I'm sure. But, um... So, yeah. We have to walk around here. Or not walk, but swim around here, I'm pretty sure. And maybe get up over here. Oh, come on now. Come on now, game. I don't want to be fucking swimming and... God damn it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Good stuff. So, um, th I'm pretty sure that this is where we were supposed to go to anyways. This is another door over here that leads to the same exact area. So, if I go through this door and then I go back through it again... Uh, maybe it'll reset the marker, the quest marker, because at this point, at this rate, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go to get these stupid journals, because apparently this quest is just going to be a huge pain in my ass if I have to look through and look every which way to get these stupid journal entries here, or whatever. I don't even know what the whole purpose of them is, but hopefully if I go through this door right here, maybe it'll reset? I'm not exactly sure, but we'll have to see. Because this goes to the excavation site, which I think is the same area that we left off from. I could be wrong. Oh, wait a minute. This goes back to... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We do have to go back through here. Damn it. And then I'm pretty sure that there should be a door. All right. So, yeah. If I go back out that way, that's going to lead me to, you know, Markarth and such. So, yeah. That's right. Because we killed the guys over here. Fuck, man. This is so disorienting. Is there another door at the other end of this area over here? Yeah. There's that one right there. And then... Okay, so, alright, alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go ahead and deactivate one of... Let's go ahead and deactivate that. Wait a minute, no, that's the one that I want to have. I think it's the miscellaneous one that I want to deactivate. Because, uh... Yeah, that one where I tell the guy that that spider thing is dead, and then fucking... Yeah, alright. So if we go through here, perhaps the uh, quest will be all good to go. It'll reset the objective marker, though I could be wrong. So yeah, now it leads me back out here. Alright, cool. So now that the, uh, the objective is set, I can actually get shit done, hopefully. See, this leads me down here, apparently. Is it that armory door? I think it's that door right there. Yes, it is. All right, cool. So I was supposed to go to that armory door. All right. Good to know, game. Hopefully, uh, we can actually start killing some more stuff now. And I can go ahead and test out this bound sword theory. All right, uh, no, no, I didn't, didn't want to kill myself. Didn't need to do that, but whatever. I have plenty of magicka, so it's not a big deal. Hopefully, I can kill some stuff here. Hey, there's a guy over here. What are you? It's a Falmer. All right, let's see here. Oh, it does do quite a bit of damage. How about that? Well, I'll go ahead and stick with the bound sword for a little while. It does level up your uh, conjuration quite a bit. My conjuration is actually pretty damn good, if I remember correctly. Let's go to, uh, yeah, level 61. It's not bad. It's definitely not a shitty skill by any means, although my one-handed is even better. I'm not really sure if both one-handed and conjuration apply to how good the bound sword is, but oh shit. Hey, guy. Does this thing appear in my inventory whenever I conjure it? I don't think it does. Blah-de-blah, -blah, ebony blade. Uh, no, it, it really doesn't. 
No idea how much damage this thing does. All I know is that it's kicking some Falmer ass here. I have to wait to see how much damage it does on a stronger t uh, kind of Falmer, but so far, it's not doing too bad. Definitely have nothing to complain about, but these stupid journal entries are going to be every which way, so... Gonna have to look for all of them. I think there's three, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we got a Gloom Lurker here. Um, this does do quite a bit of damage on this guy, so we'll have to see here. I might be sticking with this thing. Wow, I didn't even know that I'd kill this stupid spider here. What a piece of shit that thing was. Where does this go? Does this go back out to the... Yeah, it does. It goes back out to this main area. What the hell? Hey, there we go. Cool. Give me that journal. Recover, Crag's journal completed, blah 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 Other stuff, apparently, yeah. Looks like he didn't make it out alive. I think he was hopeful that he could make it out alive, but he didn't. Fury, do I even have that spell? I don't know. Just in case, I will take it. Hey, a random corpse, why not? Uh, so we have to go back up there and back through there, so... Oh, great, it's one of these things. Well, why not? I'll go ahead and get the experience. Wow, it's not even fucking... Wow. Thought it was going to come to life, but I guess not. Wait a minute, what if I use a spell on it? Can I go ahead and do this? Firebolt. Alright, come on now. Alright, good thing. Good good stuff. I'd rather not have to fight one of those things, but if I see the opportunity to get some experience from fighting a strong opponent, then I will. Not going to pass that up just because of being a pansy, but you know I need to go ahead and favorite this thing. The uh, Bound Sword hasn't been favorited for a while, I don't think so. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Damn it, didn't want to... There we go. Didn't want to cast the Firebolt thing. There we go. Alright, so we're all good to go here. We're making progress with these stupid journals. Don't know what we're gonna have to do after we've collected all the journals, but we'll see. Uh, you guys are definitely coming to life. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. This guy died. Recover that dude's journal. How foolish to move through this place so quickly. It's taken me only a few hours to crack the back gate. Maybe I'll donate a cup or two, but Craig says he knows some private buyers who will pay handsomely for a working trinket. There has to be one in here. Blah -de blah the side doors are all locked, and this chest should have one or two things of value. When I get out, I'm going to buy myself a castle. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, he died, so that didn't work out for him, it would seem. Alright, apparently these guys just aren't going to come to life. How about that? I mean, that does work in my favor, but whatever. The game wants to, uh not have all these opponents come to life and attack me, then that's fine with me, you know? Things definitely didn't work out so well for that guy, though. Damn it! And my game volume is, like, extraordinarily quiet, so let's go ahead and turn that up a bit. Couldn't even hear the, uh, the ambient stuff going on, this ambient noise, music, whatever. And I couldn't hear the lockpick either. Damn it! That was, like, unlocked right there. Give me a break here. Give me a break of that Kit Kat bar. Ha ha! I win! Fuck you, game. Fuck you and your lockpicks. Hey, what's going on over here? Any chests or anything? No, this actually just leads right back over here. Well, that was a waste of some lockpicks. Well, two journals down, one to go. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Unless there's, like, a bunch more shit that we have to do after collecting the third one. God damn this place for being so large and whatnot. Not sure if there are any other quests related to this area that I'll have to check out, but... I imagine that making my way back through this place, assuming that I even have to do that, I would just, I would imagine that I'll have to fight all that stuff. It'll all come to life and attack me after the fact. And I really hope the commentary is recording right now. I don't know why it wouldn't. It might actually be all glitchy and stuff. So just out of random paranoia, I'm going to go ahead and check the recording and we'll be right back. Alrighty, sorry about that, but we are back and we are good to go. It would seem as though everything is fine. For some reason, I just got really paranoid out of nowhere about the audio for the commentary. Because sometimes, there's been some shitty things going on with my new audio setup that I've got going on. I, ma I imagine it has something to do with my audio card, or my sound card rather, not my audio card. But my sound card, and I imagine that I could probably uh, get a new one. One that'll, like, fix my problems that I've been having recently. And basically what my problems are, are, like, random audio stutters that my PC will get. And, uh, it's not my favorite thing in the whole world. Let's go ahead and get our sword out. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it'll... I think I've mentioned this in a Dragon's Dogma episode, but basically what it'll do is it will cause my, uh... What's it called? My commentary. It'll cause that to kind of contract a little bit, and then it'll be in front of the gameplay 
or commentary of another person um, in some cases. Like if it's a dual com, it'll just drag my commentary forward a little bit because it'll, contra it'll contract and it'll be all weird and glitchy. So obviously that's not a good thing. I don't want that to happen. And sometimes it, an even worse issue will pop up with my voice being all robot -y. And it'll like consistently be robot -y. Like sometimes it'll happen even in a regular recording just for a little bit. Wow, that's shitty Oof. trap. But again, Boost Road you and that other guy. He fucking hit the wall there. Alrighty. So yeah, that's the only reason I decided to check that. Normally I test stuff beforehand to make sure everything is good, but today I didn't and I just remembered or realized that, I guess I should say, and decided I would fix that up. Uh fix that up and just make sure everything's good. Just kind of check out the recording. Damn it, I don't know what I just took, but I didn't want to take it. Got distracted by that badass uh, sequence there where I killed that guy. And I think we're good here. Once again, don't care about those arrows. I could keep them, even though they don't weigh anything. You know, it, it doesn't really matter if I drop them or not. They just clutter up the inventory more than I need them to. So, last diary reactivates that place's defenses. All right, cool. Uh, this is going to blow because I know for a fact fact now that shit is gonna like come to life and start attacking me so this could be really really bad I don't know why I would want to reactivate the place's defenses but I guess we have no choice I think I'll be fine though I haven't had much of a problem with all these things and I've been consistently doing well so I think the difficulty will have to go up soonish and another thing that I wanted to explain is that uh, I haven't I, de I decided not to do a hour-long special or movie special for Skyrim for the 300th episode, or the 250th episode, actually. Which you guys are probably watching right now. This is probably going to be the 250th episode, unless something happens. But, um... So, yeah, I decided not to do a movie for the 250th. I am doing one for the 300th one. Uh, the only reason I'm not doing one for the 250th is because of shenanigans. Because, um, well, right now... I am in the middle. Can I go ahead and keep casting the fucking restoration spell, what I mean to get my sword back, but uh, the reason for that is I'm in the middle of, like, the end of the third quarter right now of this term, so finals are rearing their heads, and I am also putting up with an eight-page essay and a couple other essays that I have to get done, blah -de blah find someone who knows about the expedition, okay. How am I supposed to just randomly find this person, though? Okay, we'll go ahead and search this. Hey, look at all this stuff I can take. Ebony Greatsword of Banishing. Look how awesome that is. I want to take that, but now I am fucking over-encumbered, so that's cool. I need to level up, too, so I'll go ahead and do that in a second. Probably going to hold on to that perk, though, for a while. Dragon Plate Shield, other stuff. Elven Shield, I don't want that.